not be the same. Few people laughed, few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the scripture. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. At the height of the Cold War, we were stockpiling nuclear weapons. To build these bombs, we needed a lot of uranium. They dug up this radioactive material and left millions of tons of it leaching into our water supply. Nobody tests for radiation and uranium. No cities, no counties, no states routinely test for that. People are getting sick from drinking their water. They're cooking in the water, they're bathing in the water. We found very high uranium concentrations, three times the EPA limit. How could they measure such a high number? These are the people who are supposed to be cleaning up. And they're operating under conditions which are manifestly not guaranteed to provide for the public safety. All of the barriers to keep the radiation from the public had totally failed. Nuclear can have 40 great years and, and one bad day. Plutonium has a half-life of 24,000 years. It will take 10 half-lives before this water is safe to drink. And the effects are passed on from one generation to the next. This is not just what was done to these people. My family's dying proof that it's here. We just have to stand up. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we can't have that in a contaminated world. We're poisoning ourselves and our planet, and it's a shady bet that we're really going to be able to deal with this stuff in the time that we have. I've never been an activist, but this issue made me one. <laughs>